Hi, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Epson EcoTank ET2500 printer. To start with, the EcoTank ET2500 is a printer that doesn't use cartridges. Instead, on the side it's got a series of ink tanks that you can fill up with ink that you can buy online or in store. Now, Epson brand this as a printer that can reduce your printing costs by up to 74%. Now I've been using the printer for about a year and I haven't stopped using those initial ink bottles that came with it and I've done quite a lot of printing so I think they're probably right on this one. However what I'm going to bring you today is a full review of this printer to help you decide whether this is the right printer for you to pick up or not. Let's start off with cost. Cost is an important factor when it comes to any purchase especially when it comes to technology. Now this isn't the cheapest printer on the block and it will set you back around £200 but if you check out the Epson website before you order it, they regularly have things like cashback offers, so you can get about 25 quid back on top of that. The printer does however come with a complete set of ink, so once you've got it, you're good to go. The big ongoing cost of printers as well to take into account is the refillables, and I've always found that cartridges can be more expensive than the printer themselves. Thankfully, this isn't the case with this printer, because they'd be really expensive otherwise. For this printer you buy ink bottles. Now 70ml of ink will set you back around £8.50 for the genuine Epson ones. If you shop around online, you can find a kind of complete set of third-party inks for just 15 quid. Now, if you compare this cost to cartridges for most other printers, it's a lot cheaper, and even more so when you take into account the amount of printing you get done from one ink bottle. Second up, let's talk about design. Let's be honest, this printer looks like most all-in-one printers, and there's nothing that's going to blow you away about the design. The front of a printer has a control panel, which can be flat or angled. Paper goes in the back, and it comes out the front. It's got rounded edges which make the sides look a little bit softer in your room. And then on the side you've got the ink tanks. If you look at the back of a printer you can find a power cord insert and a USB socket. You can also connect this printer to a network that's wireless. In all honesty, it's not the most beautiful piece of technology, but it's incredibly practical. So let's talk about some of the features of this printer. The ET2500 can print at resolutions up to 5760 by 1440 dots per inch. It has a printing speed of 9.2 pages per minute in black and white and 4.5 pages per minute in colour. When it comes to ink it takes four colours. It takes black, magenta, yellow and kyan. The printer is a multi-function printer and so it also has a scanner. It can take up to A4 in terms of size and can scan up to 1200 dpi by 2400 dpi. This scanner has a variety of options. It can scan to your computer, it can scan to the Epson smartphone app, or it can do monochrome on colour copies without even connecting it up to a computer. Next up, let's talk about ease of use. When it comes to setting up a printer, much like many printers out there, it's not the easiest thing to do. But if you follow the instructions, you can get it done. To connect the printer to a wireless network, you must do this via USB to start with, so you're going to need a computer to set this up. The disc that comes with the printer has Mac and PC software, and you can download updated versions of these from the Epson website. You can also set up things like Epson Connect printing, email print, and you can download the Epson app to scan or print from your phone. One thing that is worth noting for Apple users is that it isn't AirPrint compatible, but apps like HandyPrint can help you piggyback your printer from your computer to your phone. Next up, let's talk about the quality of the printer. Generally speaking, the quality of printing that I get from this printer is fine for what I need it for. It is however worth noting that unless you adjust some of the settings, blocks of black such as on barcodes can have white lines going through them. As can text. Colour quality on the printer is pretty good, and you can adjust the settings to print on glossy paper and get some really nice photo results. In all honesty, it's not the best quality printer out there, but it's completely functional for me for doing things like printing everyday documents for work. One of the things I really like about this printer is not having to worry about whether my document is in colour or black and white because it's just as cheap to print either. I also found that actually it's pretty quick to print things off and so if I need a quick run of something it tends to happen pretty quickly. So what's my verdict on the ET2500? Having been using it for about a year I'm really happy with the results that I've got from it and I found that it's a really reliable everyday printer. If you need the printer to go the extra mile for printing things like photos then it can as well which is really nice. The biggest thing for me with this was that I wasn't going to be throwing cartridges away all the time and spending loads of money on them. And so actually this printer has saved me a fortune and I love the reduced amount of waste that comes from not using cartridges. One of the things I would have liked to see on a £200 printer though is air print compatibility and I think it's a real shame that they didn't include this. All in all, I would recommend this printer. I think it's a pretty good device, it's reliable, it's fairly easy to set up and I'm quite happy with the results. 
I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.